Hello everyone, this is Nubilis and welcome back to Planet Zoo, where we are currently working on a zebra exhibit, but before we get into that, I just want to say a big thank you to all of the people that have currently been looking at the Planet Zoo videos. People seem to be enjoying it and I am enjoying making them, and a big thank you as well to the new subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything else by me in the near future. Anywho, I decided today I wanted to have some zebras in my zoo. So we have zebras. We have zebras and you're about to see me progress onto making their little habitat. Now, I don't want to go anything too fancy. Uh, you know, I don't want to go fancy pants, this kind of stuff. Uh, as you know, I'm still kind of working on the building sort of situation, you know, I'm still, I'm still okay, I'm okay, I'm doing okay. But, um, I'm, I, I think we I think we got something good going on. I think, um, I like how I set this up. Now, I was, my plan was, I didn't want to have the usual looking over the fence or looking through a window. I wanted a view. I wanted the people that viewed the zebra exhibit to have an appropriate view of the zebras. One that we haven't seen in the zoo before, actually. I mean, we only have two other habitats here. We have the gharials and we have the Nile monitors. If you haven't seen those videos, then feel free to go back and have a little look at them and how I built uh, their exhibits. But uh, this one, as you can see, I decided to have like a little island sort of thing going on. Now, I really like the idea of this because, I don't know, it's just cute. It's kind of welcoming, isn't it? Like they can go up there and then they're on the height, that like the high ground. And then you, they got all that view around them. They can see over the fence if they want to. And the plan is for the guests, they get to look into the exhibit over and they're basically face to face with the zebras almost. Because on the opposite side you will have the path, we'll get to that later, but that is the general idea I was going for. I didn't want to overcrowd this space because it's quite grasslandy. I didn't want it to go too crazy, but I did do a lot with rocks. As you can see now, I'm starting to work on that right now. But yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this game. And if you haven't had the chance to uh, play in the beta and you are interested in this game, I definitely, definitely recommend it. I, I recommend it more than I could. I wasn't going to get the deluxe edition, honestly. You wouldn't have seen this video. But I, I really have been looking forward to this game and the hype is real. The hype is really real. I mean, obviously the beta has bugs and such, but you know, this beta's gonna beta. That is just how things go with betas. And I'm happy with how everything is so far. Obviously I don't have access to all of the animals yet because the beta only has a select couple of animals or, well, more than a couple, but uh, you know what I mean. I'm just excited. I'm just really <laughs> excited. And I hope you guys are too. If you're interested in the game, which probably you are if you're watching this video, <laughs> then yeah, I'm on the hype train with you people. I am on the hype train. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as you can see, I'm placing down a lot of rocks. I wanted the whole island area to be kind of surrounded by rocks uh, to make it look a bit more authentic. I could have added a little bit more, but you know. Um, I didn't want the corners to be bare as well, because sometimes you have the corners and sometimes they look a little bit just like, oh, I'm in an exhibit. But I tried to do a little something in the corners. I think I could have done something else. I could have built it up in the way of rocks surrounding the entire enclosure. But I didn't want to do that uh, in this video because I haven't got much experience with that kind of thing. And I would have, it would have been a longer video, <laughs> basically, is what I'm trying to say. But. I think I'm happy with what, thing, what I've done with this here. I mean, we got... It seems natural in my eyes. I don't know what you think. But, honestly, yeah, I'm happy. I'm pretty happy. And I think the zebras are happy. So, that's chill. That's chill with me. As long as the animals are happy, I'm happy. You're happy. We're all pretty happy. And you know what the best thing is? Being happy. Being happy is one of the best things in the world. Come on. You, you can't argue with me there. You can't argue with me on that. That is like the best feeling in the world. And I hope you all are happy today. I hope you I hope you are all having wonderful days so far, actually. 
I don't say that often. I don't get to chat with you guys. Um, well, I don't get to chat with you mostly because I'm, I don't live stream yet, but mentioning that, I will be considering doing live streaming near Christmas. So you guys can look out for that. And of course, if you're interested in that, uh, in seeing me live stream and you're not yet subscribed, then please feel free to subscribe below because you don't want to miss some of that because I'm pretty fun. I'm a pretty fun person to talk to. I'm a pretty fun person to watch, maybe. <laughs> anyway, let's go back on to the video a little bit. We're going a bit um, off topic. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just really happy. I'm just really like bubbly and happy and it's good. But yeah, anyway, here is what I'm doing. I am making a little hard shelter all on my own. Uh, it's not the best thing in the world, but I did give a little um, a glass roof kind of thing going on. I thought that would be quite aesthetic, like a nice aesthetic, I mean. Just because, you know, you got, they got shelter, but they've also got the sand pouring on them. But if they want to go into the shade, there's plenty of trees that they can go hide, hide under. So, yeah. I'm pretty content with how this looks. Now, one thing I didn't really properly notice is um, it's not aligned. If you can see right there, uh, if I'm on a certain angle, it doesn't actually fit. So I had to move the walls back, which you'll see me do in a minute. Um, but... Overall, I think it's structurally sound. I think they will like it. I haven't seen them go into it properly yet. But overall, I think it's a pretty sound design. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's going on and I figure it out. Yep. <laughs> Building tools, still figuring it out. But I'm getting there. I am getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we are learning together. Uh, if you have any questions about how I've done certain things, by the way, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm happy to answer questions as best I can about uh, the game in general, how I've built certain things, uh, certain controls or anything like that, anything that you want to know really. I'm happy to answer as best as I possibly can. So we are almost ready to unleash the zebras. So that's fun. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you to see the zebras actually because they're really, really, they're really, really cute when you get close up to them. They've got beautiful eyes. And I don't know, this game is just so photogenic. The animals are so photogenic. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, then I recommend you do so below if you want to see some really photogenic shots because I post the pictures up on Instagram. A uh, link to socials are currently in the description below if you want to go have a little look. Oh, here, here, yeah, this is what I was talking about. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do the path right now, but I get there in the end. I get the best kind of thing that I want with this. It extends over and you kind of get a face-to-face -face view if you're at the front of the barrier with the zebras when they're on top of the island. So I quite like that. I really, really like the aspect of that. And you'll see a little bit... Um, when we uh, get a nice uh, fancy schmancy shots of the zebras in a little while. But uh, it's a pretty nice view, I think. I mean, obviously, I, everything that you do in life, you could be that one step better at it, right? Like, no one's perfect at anything, and this isn't a perfect habitat that I've built right now. Obviously, it's good. It's fine. I like it. I'm happy with it. But it can always be that little bit better. And that's fine. But look, here we go. The zebras are here. And I just need to figure out the terrain now. That's why I brought the zebras in now, is just so I can focus on the terrain and what the requirements are. I was pretty spot on, except for the soil, maybe. I think, if I remember, if I just, I didn't quite see it then. But I think I was pretty spot on with it. You know? Uh, with the long grass, by the way, a little tip. If you put it close to where the rocks are, it gives a nice aspect of like, oh, I can't quite get mowed down here. But um, it, it gives a quite a nice aesthetic, I think. It gives a nice, um, maybe not on the cliff edge. Yeah, that's, I changed that a little bit because I didn't quite like that. But I added rock terrain around the actual um, island just to make it, give it that nice little edge again, you know? But yeah, grass near the rocks works well, and here are some zebras. There we go, we are looking at our lovely zebras now, enjoying the habitat. You've got people up there already now. I'm really happy with how that looks because they get to have a nice view of the zebras, and that is just wonderful. 
It is the best thing. And look, they're swimming, they're enjoying themselves. And I'm pretty pleased with how everything looks. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie, I am very, very pleased. <laughs> I think this is the bubbliest I've been in a video. <laughs> I guess we should do this more often. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm a silly, silly bee. Anyway, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Obviously there's more Planet Zoo coming, so if you want to subscribe for that, then feel free to do so. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could like, comment, subscribe, share this video, I'd really appreciate that too. And I will see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye bye.